Hi there, this is John again from MySolarHome.us. This latest video is about solar panels, solar panel scams, solar leads. Now, there are a lot of videos on online. Uh, they're all over the place. So I thought today I'll talk about the solar panels so-called scams, what they're all about, um, and most importantly, I'll tell you how you can avoid getting trapped into one of these scams. The solar market is pretty competitive, so you have a lot of people who are knocking on doors, coming to you with different solar options, and some of them do take a little bit of liberty with um, the truth. And you could end up getting a deal which is which could effectively even lose you money, and that's when you know people go berserk and they start going solar scam, and they make videos, and you know they're all over the net. So. What's the truth behind the solar panel scams? So solar panel scams are essentially originated with the solar lease. So there are a couple of very large companies like Sonova and there is Sunrun and there are some other companies too, but these are the two big guys. They used to be Vivint before, which has been bought over by Sunrun, which sell you a product known as a solar lease. Now, the reason we have a lot of people talking about solar scams is because the promise of the solar lease from these companies many a time doesn't meet the reality of you know what they offered you let me give you an example let's say you're a homeowner you have a 150 dollars electric bill and this smart young guy comes in knocks to your door and says hello homeowner i can reduce your electric bill substantially by helping you go solar will help you go green and you think to yourself okay you know what could be better i could save some money you know help the planet go go green i mean it's 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 a good deal so the promise is like this that you have an electric bill today of 150 bucks go solar with us we'll install the solar panels on your roof you don't have to pay anything out of pocket so that's why sometimes they say you know free solar panels nothing is free but but it's true that you don't have to pay anything up front and without you paying they install the solar panels in your roof and the promise is that after you install the solar panels your electric bill which was 150 a month will go down to zero and instead of that electric bill you will now have a bill to pay the solar company which is the solar lease bill which will be maybe a hundred bucks a month so as a homeowner you saving 150 was your solar electric cost before solar and after solar it's 100 bucks you're saving 50 bucks a month 600 dollars a year and over 25 years that's 19,500 dollars so that's a lot of saving now that's the promise sometimes what happens is the promised savings of 50 bucks doesn't materialize and this is what happens that your 150 dollar electric bill after solar doesn't reduce to zero it reduces to something like maybe 30 bucks or maybe 40 bucks let's go with the 30 buck case so in that case, you've, after you've gone with the solar lease, you have a hundred dollar solar bill, uh, solar lease bill every month. Plus you have another thirty dollars that you're paying the electric company. So you're effectively paying hundred and thirty dollars a month compared to hundred and fifty a month earlier. You're saving twenty bucks, no complaints. But twenty bucks versus fifty bucks savings is a big difference. So since you just save, you know, two hundred and forty bucks a, a year, and over. Uh, 25 years instead of saving nineteen and a half thousand dollars you'll maybe save seven and a half thousand dollars and your antenna go up and you say hey I was thinking about saving 600 bucks a month 19,500 over 25 years and here I'm stuck with just a $20 saving and sometimes it's even lower than that scam 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 and that's what causes all the trouble in solar land as they call it so is this avoidable can you avoid getting trapped into a solar scam or this solar lease trap? Yes, absolutely. But you gotta be careful, you gotta be diligent. The problem with the solar lease and the perceived solar scam is the savings. The solar company promises you savings of 50 bucks, you end up getting savings of 20 bucks. The reason is that the solar panels installed on your roof don't make enough power to take care of 100% of your electric consumption. The most common reason why people are unhappy with their solar leases is because their solar company gave them less panels than they needed. It's very easy to find out 
the correct number of panels you need for your home and for your electric consumption. But step one is to find out your annual electric consumption. This is, comes, this is in kilowatt hours. You can find it from your electric bill. Okay, you can call your electric company and ask them what, what is, what's your usage for the last consumption for the last 12 months. Once you know your consumption, go to a site known as PV Watts. Let's do this together. In this example, I'm assuming that I'm a homeowner and I stay in South Carolina and I have consumption, annual consumption about, about 11,000 kilowatt hours. I've got a solar lease proposal from a solar company. They've suggested that I go with a 7.2 kW system and I'm gonna find out if this system actually meets my needs. Now it's important when you look at your solar proposal from your solar company to check out what the correct system size they've suggested. They usually give two figures. One is the system size in kilowatt and one is the production in kilowatt hours. The production figure in kilowatt hours is higher it's always in kwh and that's not the figure you're looking for you're looking for the system size and that figure is in kilowatts and it is smaller it's usually 7.2 8.3 kilowatt 10.5 kilowatt etc in this example the solar company has suggested that we buy a 7.2 kw system and i want to find out if this system size is correct for me so i go to this website called pv watts I enter my address next I enter the system size which is 7.2 kW now right at the bottom make this change I mean if you know what the azimuth is great put that figure down otherwise if you don't change it to 130 that should give us a good estimate of how much power the system will produce click on the link and bingo, PV Watch shows you that a 7.2 kW system at your address in South Carolina will produce 9,936 kilowatt hours of power. That's significantly lower than the 11,000 kilowatt hours of power you need. You can now go back to your solar company and tell them, look, I'm not happy with the system size you've suggested. Give me more panels so that I actually get 11,000 kilowatt hours. You're the one in control right now. Now, when you have the solar company offering you a solar lease and they say, okay, I'm giving you 20 panels and your 20 panels are going to make your 10,000 kilowatt hours. You can do, you have done your math and you know that, hey, 22 panels is not going to make the deal Maybe 23 panels or even better 24 panels. So ask for a system with 24 panels and then ask for that, for their prices. At that point of time, you know that your electric bill after solar is likely to be zero or close to zero. What about the lease payment? Payments offered by solar companies are all over the map. Some might offer you 100 bucks, some might offer you 110 bucks, some might offer you 90 bucks. Go for the, the, the lowest one and go for one which has got no escalator. Here, I have a video on Tesla's uh, solar lease. They call it a subscription. In my opinion, that's the best solar lease going in the market because their prices are awesome and they've made it um, they, they kind of made it cookie cutter so that everybody gets the same low prices. So if you don't want too much of tension in life and you want a solar lease which is very likely to, um, to save you money, the Tesla solar lease or the Tesla subscription service is the way to go. Of course, like I've said in all my videos, I always think a purchase or finance is a better way to go solar but then that's not you know, available for, for everybody out there. If you can do uh, a purchase or a finance, go for it i have a video in my channel about purchase and finance um, i hope you enjoyed this video it will be nice if you could subscribe to like my video and thank you very much for for, for, for watching uh, best of luck with your solar lease